Sensitive subject, take five. I'm having a night. <laughs> I waited until my roommate left. Well, I didn't really wait till she left, but she left and I went, oh, I can vlog now, which I do a lot. I won't vlog when she's around. Um, she wouldn't be in this room. I would close this door. Right now the door is open because I got the house to myself, but <clears throat> her room is adjacent to this wall. There you are. Adjacent to this wall. And um, I wouldn't want her to hear what I'm saying because it's, it's personal. It's personal. And I might cry or something. And, and I'm sharing my personal stuff and my weight and everything. The point is it's personal. And I'm sharing it with the World Wide Web. People I don't even freaking fragging know. Now, I feel like I do know the folks who've like commented and subscribed and I've watched yours and you've watched mine. We kind of get to know each other. You know what I mean? We kind of even like bond. But even that's kind of like, wow, brave. But I feel like I understand that. I understand um, vlogging on this channel and, you know, in our like... Um, meta tags or whatever down below. We like, uh, uh, you know, put in things so that we can attract people who are also on the same kind of journey, right? Um, so that's cool. I get that. I love the weight loss and bariatric community. This is where I belong. This is where I belong. And my uh, kindred spirits in this respect are right here. And so I love that. And, I, and my regular friends um, are not where I am on this. I think that's what it is. And I don't feel like explaining myself. I think that's what it is. And sometimes when I do explain myself, they still don't understand because you got to literally walk at least a few minutes in my shoes. So I think that's what it is. Um, a little bit of it, I used to think back on take one and take two, <laughs> I was thinking, because I, I totally turned on the camera tonight and I said, I'm going to work this out. I'm going to figure out why. Why am I okay with sharing with these people I don't even know and not okay with sharing with my friends um, about my weight and whatnot? Um, and so over the last four or five takes, which is about an hour's worth of time, um, I think I figured it out a little bit. Um, I used to think that it was like, uh, low self-worth and that I was judging myself as less than. And so I didn't then want to share my journey with people who I thought were, you know, together in that respect. Everybody has an issue. Everybody has a challenge, you know, a life curriculum thing that they're going through. And, um, and so there's that, but I just still didn't want to be judged. Not on this. I don't want anybody telling me, oh, you really shouldn't do that less than 1000 calories. That's not healthy. Don't talk to me. Don't tell me that. Because that's what works for me. So shut up. Ah, oh, I feel that. I'm afraid of that. So I think that's what, I don't want to have that kind of interaction with anybody. And so I think that's why I don't share with them as much. And so I've bumped into a few situations where I have um, advertised a friend of mine's little light thing. And I'm like, girlfriend. And she's like, oh, I want to see. So I shared it with her, but it took me six weeks to share the link of that vlog that I did. And the only reason I shared it with her is because I realized I went, wait. Two years ago, she had a tummy tuck. So she understands. Okay. Um, and then another one, I shared her Airbond stuff. That was video number um, Bing, that one. Um, and then I just shot a link to her. Like, why did I do that? After I shot it, I'm like, oh my God. I just connected her directly to this channel. And, you know, she wrote me. She's like, um, I loved your video are you really trying to do less than a thousand calories a week? I mean, a month, I mean, a day, a thousand calories a day. <laughs> yeah. Only a thousand calories a month. Anyway. Um, you know, I couldn't hear her. You know how it is when somebody's texting or they're emailing and you can't hear their inflection, but I, I was worried that it was going to be a judgment thing. So I wrote her back in response to her question about 1000 calories a day. And I said, you know, my normal friends, actually don't know about this channel. So actually, you're very lucky. She went, wow, thank you. I feel special. So that was cool. And she's like watched other vlogs and commented and stuff to me via text. She doesn't comment below. I don't know why not. You might as well. Uh, but anyway, so um, that's become okay. I'm cool with that. Um, and then I have another friend, another friend, um, it just, you know, 
where things happen. And then another friend who is going to coach me because he's amazing, lives in another state. And um, I just admire him so much. He's done incredible, miraculous stuff with his health. And I believe he does that through spirituality and, and, and stuff like that. Um, and his fitness is like, he's very fit. Oh my God. So fit. So I said, you coach me. And like, you know, once a week I talk to you or something. I, so I have somebody that I'm accountable to. Because at the moment, I really don't have that at this very, very, very moment. Notice, I will not tell you how much I weigh today in this vlog. Because I don't have to. And the truth is, I don't know. Because I haven't weighed myself. And I'm trying not to weigh myself a lot right now. <laughs> but I'm on it. And I'm loving what's happening. So we can talk about this some other time. That's not what this, this vlog is about. So I just thought it was interesting that I don't even want to share... Um, you know, and so, so, so that's telling though, my roommate is in the same challenge as me out in the kitchen. There's all this Optifast stuff. She's trying to do the liquid diet thing, you know, um, but I don't want to share my journey with her because I feel we are definitely seeing it differently and doing it differently. And I feel like we have different psychologies about it. I support her in what she's doing. She probably supports me too, but she doesn't know exactly what I'm doing. And I'm cool with that. And I don't want her to see my channel. And I'll wait till she's gone to vlog. That's ridiculous though. That's just, that's, I got to work on this some more. I got to work on, I would love your feedback on this because I think it's ridiculous. Um, oh, who is the vlogger? Her name is... Yes, right here. I'm so glad I'm able to do that. So she um, was in her car and she's vlogging and vlogging and vlogging. And like 10, 12 minutes into it, she mentions the guy sitting next to her. It's like it was they were carpooling or something <laughs> to work. And I'm like, wow, wow, that's awesome that she could just do that. Man, I think I mentioned it to her in her comment. But anyway, so yeah, I don't have it like that. I want to get it like that, though. Because to me, that's something about saying that I am not only comfortable in my skin, but what you think of me is none of my business. And that's where I completely want to get grounded in that. That's my goal. What do you think? I hope everybody's doing well. And yeah, comment below. And have you subscribed to me yet? How come? How come? How come? Do it now. Click. And then I will subscribe to you too. And like me. Like me. Just, even if you don't like me, just click it anyway. <laughs> Talk to you later.